Hello everyone! I'm Martin. And I'm Molly. Welcome to Living Work Kids TV. We are so happy to see you again. Today is going to be a little different. We are going to explore Jacob's diary. What, Molly? Who's Jacob? Jacob is Isaac's son. We talked about him our last lesson. Oh yeah, I remember now we stopped our story when he ran away from home because his brother was going to hurt him. You're right. Today we are going to talk about the rest of the story and learn about Jacob's dream. Are you ready for the story? And now, let's say the new magic words. The Bible is the Word of God, and we need it in our hearts. The Bible is the Word of God, and we should have it all times in our heart. Leafy and Daisy, we, we are, are ready. ready! Welcome, everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. Now, let's talk about today's lesson. Today, we're continuing Jacob's story. We talked about him in our last episode. We're going to pick up where we left off, and that's when Jacob ran away from home. If you remember, Jacob ran away from home because his older brother Esau was trying to harm him. When Jacob ran away from home, he traveled for the entire day. When the night came, he rested in a lonely area and used a rock as a pillow to sleep on. While he slept, God revealed a big dream to Jacob. Jacob dreamt that there was a huge ladder that reached all the way into heaven. Angels would come up and down the ladder, and God was at the very top of the ladder. God then told Jacob that he would have as many descendants as the dust of the earth, and that they would spread out all over the land. All the descendants' families would be blessed because they all come from Jacob. God then reassured Jacob and said that he would be with him and keep him wherever he went. He will not leave Jacob and he will accomplish his promise that God gave to him. When Jacob woke up, he was very surprised at what he had seen. He couldn't believe he had seen angels come up and down the ladder, and couldn't believe that God talked to him. Jacob then changed his perspective. When he first arrived in the lonely land, it just looked like a regular field, without much to do. But when God revealed his dream to him, he realized that this land is more than just some dirt and grass. God revealed himself on this land, therefore this land was holy. When the morning came, Jacob set the stone he used as a memorial for God and the plan for his descendants. He then made a promise to God. If God promises to keep him safe, give him food, give him clothes, and return him to his father's house, then God would become his savior. And so, God kept his promise. And God has continued to keep this promise today. God still protects us wherever we go, we still have clothes and food, and we have a home. We have all these things because of God. Jacob didn't just make that agreement for himself, that promise was for us too. God told him that his descendants would be blessed over, so that agreement he made with God goes down to us as well. God never left Jacob, and he hasn't left us either. He kept his promise. God has more promises for us too. Maybe you won't see it in a dream like Jacob did, but you can see it when you eat your food or wear your clothes. Although Jacob had taken away his brother's promise, God continued to bless him because God's plans were bigger than any obstacle in the way. God's plan for you is also bigger than anything in your way right now. Maybe you've made mistakes, but those mistakes are no match for God's plans. God will never leave you. He will put you back on your feet and continue what He has for you. Thank you, Leafy and Daisy, for this amazing story. God will remind you a little way that He always dared for you. Maybe he won't give you dreams just like he gave Jacob, but he can give you new days and new experience instead. Leafy, can you share with us today's verse, please? Yes, Molly. Deuteronomy 24. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. Thank you, Leafy, for sharing with us today's verse. We need to remember that God always has our back, and we should give Him thanks for that. God has unlimited amounts of mercy for us, so even if we do something wrong, He will remind you that He will still be there for you. Give God thanks! Tell
album fast that I believe in Jesus. Ten, by ten, oh, clap your hands. Tell them fast that I believe in Jesus. Left hand, right hand, oh, clap your hands. amigos por cantar con nosotros. Thanks for singing with us. Yes. Worshiping is a good way to give God thanks for all he does. And now, get ready because it's time for a pop quiz. What did Jacob use as a pillow? A, a stone. B, a sheep or see his clothes? The answer is A, a stone. What did Jacob dream of? A, a ladder that goes to heaven, B, a great famine, or C, tall stacks of wheat? The answer is A, a ladder that goes to heaven. What would happen if God accomplished all of Jacob's needs? A. Esau would forgive him. B. Jacob would ask for forgiveness. C. God would become Jacob's savior. The answer is C. God would become Jacob's savior. Who still has Jacob's promise? A. You. B. Your family. C. Everyone. The answer is C. Everyone. Last question. What verse can we use to remember today's story? A. Exodus 14, 8. B. Deuteronomy 24. Or C. Genesis 1, 20. The answer is C, Deuteronomy 24. Good job, everyone. We did it. Yay! The pop quiz is good for our memory. It helps us remember our lesson. Just like how Jacob remembered his dream. You're right, Martin. Well, friends, time to go. Yes, that's right, Martin. But before we do, let's give God a prayer. Repeat the prayer with us. Dear God, we appreciate all you do for us. Thank you because your grace is in our life. And thank you for your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for praying with us, everybody. I hope you had 
fun jumping into Jacob's diary. When I get back home, I'm going to write what happened today in my diary. To me, me too, Molly. Maybe someday someone will read it and learn from it. Okay, just like we learn something from Jacob. And remember, God is with you all the time. He will remind you that He is there for you and He has endless mercy for us. So let's give Him thanks every chance we get. Ciao!